hello guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to keep count of all the instances that is created of a java class so let's start i'm going to use an id called dr java so uh, for our experiment we'd have to uh, we'd have we'd need a class so let's create the class public class let's name it mango So now you need a static variable so that it remains same for all the instances and we can keep count of the instances static int total equal to zero. So we want to increase uh, total every time we create an instance of the man class. So let's do it. So we'd have to further we'd have to call uh, we'd have to increment uh, the total variable in the constructor of mango so let's do it that's done so uh, the next step i'm not uh, this is not really necessary you can do it by uh, hard coding just call it uh, but i'm going to do it anyway just created a method to get the uh, total variable that's not really necessary but i'm going to just uh, do it so now since uh, our increment part is done now we, uh, we want to think about the decrement part so for that uh, we'd have to call the finalize method uh, so that whenever the garbage collector is called uh, our total number of instances decreases so for that we would have to override the finalize method void public void finalize uh, let's call this support finalize so that I can use this thing and now decrease uh decrease the to decrease total okay this should be fine let's compile it Mm, okay, my bad. I'd have to. You see, unreported exception Java dot lang dot travel must be called declared to be thrown. So I'm going to just declare it to be thrown. Okay. Okay. Now it's com uh, the compilation is completed. Okay. So let's create a test first for us to test the uh, test our case. So let's create a test first. Okay. So I want to keep. Uh, I want to make an array of the man plus. Okay. Mango. Uh, let's name the array. Hmm. Let's just name it Jupiter. Okay, I don't know why they did that there, but let's start. And, uh, I want to make the size of this area to be 10. Okay, 10, 10 should be 5. <coughs> so, we have created an array of mango plus, but we haven't created any instances of the mango plus yet. Uh, how do you understand that? Let's check it. I want to print uh, the reference of a of an index of the Jupyter array. So let's do it. If there is any reference, there should be uh, a hash code. But if there isn't, it should be not. So let's check it. I want to print just the same. It should be fine. That should really work for us. So let's compile it. Test. Now run it. Now you see, this is now there hasn't been any instances of the memory was yet just an array. So let's make some instances of the memory plus. 
in zero and yes, I'm going to create five instances of the main request. I spread to the wrong. Okay, so I have created five instances of the main plus. So now uh, let's check if there uh, has been the if the instances has been created. Compile it again. And see there is been a, uh, there is a reference okay so that's not uh, what we're looking for we want to we want to see how many instances there has been created so let's call the get total method so we want uh, since the jupyter uh, since the total uh, since the total variable was static this is going to be same for all the instances of my web so let's just call it on the index zero. Zero get total. Okay, let's compile it. Run it. See, there have been five instances of the mango plus. So <coughs> let's increase another one. Over there, I want to increase. I want to create another instance of mango plus in index 9. Okay, okay let's print again. Okay, compile it. Run. See, another instance is, uh, another instance has been created. So let's come to the decrease decrement part so now that we have created six instances of the jupyter plus i want to uh, nullify a instance so let's say i want to nullify the <coughs> instance at index zero so let's do it mm, index four is equal to now Okay, so let's print the number of two members. Uh, since I haven't, uh, since the uh, instance of index zero is still there, so I can call the get total uh, method on uh, index zero. That sh that would matter since the variable total is uh, static. Okay, let's compile and run it. Run it. Hmm. The Inst number of instances has uh, has remained same so what's wrong so the thing is we haven't called us even we have uh, nullified it we have uh, the uh, garbage collector has been called yet so let's call it we are just uh, calling the garbage collector at our will but Let's see if it, if oh, well, I haven't. Uh, let's do something. After calling, I was going to. Okay, let's compile it and run it again. Uh, hmm. the number of instances is, is still the same so here even we have called garbage collector java uh, java virtual machine hasn't called it yet uh, so this is not up to us this is not really up to us to call the uh, to forcefully uh, call the garbage collector and execute it this is up to java virtual machine so there's a gate around for it. Uh, I don't know if it's standard or not, but uh, I have figured out to be uh, working. So even after since even after uh, calling a uh, garbage collector, this is not working. 
we can do one thing let's pull up this thread in slip for like one millisecond that wouldn't really matter in the runtime i mean it would but not that much so let's print it again There you go. Unreported exception Java dot lang dot interrupted exception. So let's just declare it to be thrown. Throws interrupted. Okay. Compile and run. So now this is working. You see, after calling garbage collector, the number of instances is six. Uh, the number uh, after calling thread.sleep the number of instances is 5 so uh, one thing to mention is that uh, uh, calling the garbage collector isn't really up to us uh, uh, putting this thread uh, thread.sleep uh, I don't think this is standard but it works but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the garbage collector would be called even before uh, calling thread.sleep so that's just one thing to mention so this was it thank you guys and subscribe my channel